Hiya guys, thanks for joining us again, back here with Mia's Matter. We're in this uh, storage tent, and to be honest with you, I can't really remember where I am, so let's open the map, refresh our memory. So I'm all the way over here, that's right, and I just picked up that bit of map. Leading us all the way to Outpost Vega. Um, right, I think the plan for today is going to be retracing our steps, but through the woods, having a bit of a forage, find some new plants and stuff, and get back to one of these cabins where we can take a look at them and see if we can make any use of them. The only hard bit is, um, I'm working out which way it is that I need to go to get back home. Right. Over that way. I need to, wait, basically I need to be going east, don't I? Yeah, so more or less over that way I want to go. Cool. Right, let's rock and roll guys, I want to be careful that we don't want to fall down anywhere, sliding doesn't matter and it feels rather good to slide anyways, but we don't want to be uh, whoa, where the hell did he come from, another dead body. And this dude's got a massive axe in his back. I'll take that, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No big scary monster's gonna be getting the best of me with this in my hand. Well, that's not necessarily true. But I hope it's the truth. We are heading in a generally east direction. Like I say, I do wanna go through the woods a little bit more, see if I can find some plants. That's the whole point of uh, backtracking in the first place. Can I pick these up? No. Can't pick up the dandelions. But what if I want to make some dandelion and burdock pop? Or soda? It's funny you should mention that, that's what I'm actually drinking at the minute. Sliding about the place. Let's have a drink of water. Stop me from getting dehydrated. Can't see I found many plants yet. Well, as you can see, I haven't found any plants yet. Have a look up here. Go on, put your back into it. Get a better vantage point. As somebody stated um, on one of the comments on one of the previous videos, my perception is quite low, so there's a good chance I will miss plants that I can pick unless I'm standing close to them at the moment. Still more or less going the way that I need to. Hey, getting some good momentum up there. Well, where are all these flowers and stuff that I need to pick? Oh, is that some fungus? Yes! Pearl blue shelf fungus. Lovely illustration there. So it hasn't been a total bust so far, and I'm obviously keeping one eye open for uh, any nasties that might be lurking in the woods. That's the same pearl blue stuff I believe. Let's 
have a look up here. Got to be some more pickable plants or specimens they're called, aren't they? That's right. There's got to be some more specimens up around here somewhere, man. I'm in the middle of a forest, for Christ's sake. Trouble is, I don't want to be going too far off the beaten path and getting lost in the woods. Oh, what's this? Can I pick this? No. Well, I think we're um, doing good at finding every kind of plant we can't pick up. But not doing very good at finding the plants that we can pick up so far. Found a bit of fungus on a tree stump. Hopefully that will help the cause somewhat. But you can carry up to three specimens in your hand at one time. Only one of each type. So it would be nice if I could get back to the next um, hut with at least two more specimens in my hand. This guy's giving it the beans running downhill. Come on, flowers, man. Oh, there's some across there. Great. I can't remember which ones I've already picked up and which ones I haven't. But every time you pick up a new plant, it does let you know by showing you it in the diary. So I've already had this one before, but never mind. I'll take it anyways. I don't think I've got one in stock. I don't even know if it'll do any good, to be honest, but never mind. That's what we need to find out. We need to start cutting these plants up, getting them under the microscope, find out if we can use them for anything. Ah, there was a uh, there was a test and setting stuff in that hut, wasn't there? I wonder if I can get round. In fact, I better keep an eye on the time as well. 5 p.m. So it shouldn't be getting dark just yet. Hopefully. Famous last words. It's these red plants here. Can I take one of these? Ah, mushrooms. Or another type of fungus, anyways. Red poisonous mushroom. Psychedelics. We'll wait till we get back the hut before we eat some of those. <laughs> it's never good, guys. The last thing you want to do is wander through the woods on psychedelics. Not that I have done myself, but I certainly don't condone it either. So I'm getting, um, oh, I don't want to run too fast off the edge of a blind cliff. No, I don't want to go down there. I'm getting a lot more used to um, being able to, oh, that's all right, navigate. You don't have to rely too much on having to know exactly where you are on your map. As long as you remember that you have a, uh, a compass. So if you know where you were, and you know what direction you're going in, or you came from, then you should be okay to get back. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get around here at all. Ah, here we go. Whoa, stop running, stop running. Oh, this is the other side of the bay where I start, isn't it? Look, there's my shipwreck over there. I walk along that beach there and up to there. I've got miles around, way around the uh, wrong direction. But, let's see, yeah? Let's see. 
Let's try and find out where we are on the map. Well, that's not going to work. Right, so... I can't find the second point from here, I don't think, but I'm obviously there. Just here. I don't know what these white squares are. Seems to be running like all the way up there, but they stop there. Don't know what they are. I don't think I can see that, neither can I. Oh, well it doesn't matter, I've just put my map away anyways. Stop. You can definitely get yourself into trouble. If you um, aren't careful around the tops of hills. Very, very easy indeed to just keep running when you don't mean to and run off the edge of the cliff. I've done it before. It isn't nice. You do fall over, get hurt. And if you get hurt enough, you start getting a fever. And you do drop everything that you're carrying at the time as well, which I like. I think it's a good mechanic. But right, we're kind of going a bit off track here. I've got three specimens. Obviously, I can't get back around this way to get back to that first hut without swimming. And the last time I tried to swim, it was basically a disaster. I drowned, I got the fever and everything. I had to go and get some rest to heal up. Came out of it fine, but it was touch and go for a while. Yeah, get that momentum up. Starting to get quite dark now. Whoa! It's a bit steep. That's better. Oh! No! No! I didn't fall far enough to drop me stuff. But that's why you've got to be careful, guys. If that had been a bigger drop, could have been pretty bad. Yeah, my health's still okay for now. That was lucky. Got away with that one. Slow and steady wins the race. Let's head back round this way. Oh, bit of a frame drop there. That? Oh, it's just grass. Let's take a drink. Well, I haven't drank in a while, actually. Hydration levels up. It's not this hut, is it? No. It's that red one there, that's the one. there as well, some here. I think I picked these before but I don't think we've uh, done much in the way of um, cutting them up and finding out what they do. Examination tray, that's where I want to go. Let's 
skip these cutscenes. I performed research on the pearl blue shell fungus. I should be able to synthesize this plant into a mental stimulant. Cool stuff. Cannot be synthesized in anything useful. Bad times. That should be fun. A mental clarity tonic. Cool. Right, I'll tell you what. 